What is going on, everybody? 940 on the nose. Thank you for coming. If you haven't arrived yet, thank you for teasing us, making us wonder if you're going to show up, and thank you for showing up eventually. Thank you in advance. How's everybody doing? June 10th. The only reason I knew that is because I looked at the top of my screen and that's what it says. You'd think that I would have this date etched in my memory because it's today. What's up, Tori Tori? If it's all right with you, I'd like to bring you on so you can carry the rest of the show for us. Is that fine with you? Would that be fine with you? That's a leading question. Ha, 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 ha. Hands up. Shit, how do I do this again? She's like, dude, you've done this a thousand times? Wait. I seriously, I'm clicking you. And uh, even Siri is like, can I help you? Riz. What's up, bro, bro? So I'm going to sign you as a referee because why not? I seriously, let me try it another way. I'm just going to drag you on to the screen, kicking and screaming. No, do not bring me in. I forgot that when you like raise your hand, it doesn't ask you if you're ready to go live. It just, you just go live. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Because usually if you drag it without raising your hand, you have to hit accept. It just dragged me in. <laughs> but you weren't in. You were like, here's what happened. Because everyone wants to know. what. Wow, this is fascinating. What just happened? Um, you put your hand up, which means, yep. hey, like, I want to join. Okay. And then when I click on the sidebar stuff, there was nothing that said, like, bring you on to video or whatever. I was just there. Really? You so weren't though. Like, I didn't, you it, saw yourself. Well, I popped on, but I didn't hit accept or anything. Like it. Got just you. It just, it just, it just there. did it. They must yeah. know like Tori, Tori doesn't come on. Like I mean, Tori was runs. I shit. wasn't holding the phone like this or something. You see up my nostrils. <laughs> yeah. Cause you want a couple of seconds, right? Riz. I've seen some nose hairs. Rizieri. Hey, I see you in there. Thank you for the uh, for the likes, bro, bro. Yes, starting out all so the way from Santiago, Chile. Oh my gosh, we have a gold broadcast button. We do. I just realized that. And Riz has a crown. Rizieri, what have you been doing? <laughs> Thank you for your He's patience. He's fanning us up. Oh my God. Thank you so much, man. Are you, also, uh, can you hear me okay, by the way? Riz, can you hear Tori all right? All right, all right? Can Do you hear everything okay? Because I have a better headset. Are you using um, like an iPhone headset or what are you using? Yeah, I'm on my phone because I have better headphones for my phone than I do for my laptop. Um, a little better quality on my phone. Right. Thanks, Riz. <laughs> um, yeah, man. So I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of inclined to like stall for a minute or two. I just I want to get a couple more people on before we like before we like unearth the big news and talk <laughs> about um, all this stuff that I'm like yeah, it's sort of like Christmas 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 morning right now, and it's like can we open the presents? Can we open the presents? Like hold on. <laughs> Grandpa's Let's coming. He's teasers. in the bathroom right now. Give him a couple minutes. Don't <laughs> knock on the door. That don't. Hey, get back here. <laughs> don't knock on the door. He needs a couple minutes. Um, what's up, Ativ? So hey, glad you're Ateev. here. <laughs> glad we're making you laugh, Riz. <laughs> if you were here, if... just be me and Pete talking to ourselves. Which it, which it is anyway. 
That's true. But it's but it's <laughs> but it's all of us at the same time. Alejandro. Hey, Alejandro. Good to see you. Are you coming in from uh, anywhere near Santiago, Chile, since you have a Latin name? <laughs> or are you just coming in from like down the street in Los Angeles? Um, we're going to be talking about music stuff today, but we have some also some really good news to share. Um, if you're new to the stream, which I think you are, I don't know if I've seen you before, uh, but welcome. We do uh, streams about live streaming music. Alejandro, um, thanks for becoming a fan. Um, okay, let's do this. We got 15 minutes. Let's make the most of this. So um, I'm super excited for Tori. Um, I'm going to do a little backstory on our relationship first, because I just feel like that's going to help people understand why I'm so excited and I'm so happy for what's happened the last few days and the last few weeks. Um, but like 30 second version, um, Troy and I have known each other for, I don't know, maybe four, f five years, six years, oh, wow. something like that. Um, I was involved in a, like a mentorship program at UCLA for people that worked in the music business and they connected people with students that were like badasses. Seriously, it was very hard to get into this group of people. And then they would, they would connect with, you know, mentors in different places. And long story short, Tori and I have known each other since then. And she's constantly, um, you know, been sort of moving in a direction. And I think I've had the pleasure of, of watching her and kind of being someone that she uh, can have a sort of a sounding board and things like that. So it's been an amazing thing to, to watch her move and and grow and find things that she's more and more and more in love with um in her career thank you, thank you. and um that's just been very rewarding for me um and so about eight weeks ago um we you know we both sort of reconnected in the midst of the chaos that was going on and decided to um sort of fuck it let's just make a live stream on live streaming do you know how to do it no do i, I we don't know how to do it Let's learn as we're doing it. That'll be let's the show. Figure it out. <laughs> yes. So literally eight weeks ago, I was like, you know, I don't know how to do any of this. Right. Let's do it. That was sort of our motto. Um, and obviously you guys have been able to witness that. And it's been fun because you guys are all there going, this is hilarious. They have no idea what they're doing. But somehow or another, I think because of uh, just the vibe and whatever um, and the guests we've had and, you know, something oh, so about our, our guests. Hi, Tano. I see you. What's up, T? The, watching the stream. Tano, good <laughs> to see you, dude. Um, glad you can make it. So, and we got JP in the wings, in the green room. Um, so, so, so what's incredible is that if we had an ulterior motive in putting this together, w one of those was, okay, wouldn't it be cool, Tori, if like you could learn some basics about live streaming? This is like very meta, right? Like, so wouldn't it be cool if you could learn some things about live streaming so that you could um, have that in your back pocket? You know, it's something that if, if you're working with the Live Nation company that you're working with, maybe that's something you can help with, or maybe it opens up a door here or there. Maybe it opens up some options, or maybe it's just something to know about. And so, so fast forward, um, you know, Tori's figured out so many things. She's the reason why this works she's sort of been the backbone of, of a lot of things she's the reason why we have um effective ways to sort of promote to you guys and let you know what you're doing thank you very much jp thank you um and i mean I, I, it would take me the whole rest of the live stream to tell you all the things that she's figured that you figured out and done stream in the future and and blah, blah 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 yeah like me for the whole hour so that said <laughs> So that said, Tori, tell us what happened and go back in, as far in, in history as you'd like. Oh, my gosh. It's still all very much mind-blowing to me, all of it. Um, also, thank you for all the words and all the mentorship throughout the years. It's helped me become and be where I am today, for sure. Appreciate you. Um, yeah, so I learned a lot about live streaming on our live stream during live on live and 
I would say last Wednesday, I saw the creator and showrunner of my favorite Netflix show, who's the, the whole thing just ended, a season finale, uh, they have five seasons, like the end episode was May 14th, I think, and then last Wednesday, she was like, oh, we're planning to do a charity live stream for Black Lives Matter and a few LGBT organizations, um, like, details coming soon. I saw her tweet that, and I was like, she is a creator of a show I love, and the show is uh, She-Ra and the Power of Princess. Princesses of Power. Princesses of Power. She I can't believe I got that. I helped you do that, but I feel really <laughs> my good. Mind, my mind is You're like, like, like <laughs> miles. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, yes, she wrote The Princess of the Power. Uh, she's the creator and the showrunner, producer, the reason it exists. Um, and another reason why I love the show is it's a cartoon. It's female-led. Like, She-Ra is uh, He-Man's sister. If you know comics, that's kind of where it comes from. So they made a five-season Netflix cartoon. And I love it because it's strong female protagonist. And she, she happens to be gay. And everyone in the series is kind of like LGBT. And it's just the norm. It's just casual. And it's something like young Tori always wanted and the fact that adult Tori's getting it now like I just love the show so much um and so I decided to dm her basically and was like hey if you need a coordinator I sent you a private message thinking let's for, shoot my show for the stream for the stream for the stream yeah for the stream for the charity stream they're having for Black Lives Matter um so yeah, I retweeted it, said, I shot you a private message if you need a coordinator. Uh, and in the private message, I basically gave a little bit about myself, saying I was a fan, um, I am black, I am a lesbian, I feel all those three requirements <laughs> to know why I'm so, like, why I'm a fan of her first, nicely, without fangirling. Um, and then told her a little bit about how I do coordinate for a stream. If she has questions, I would love to help out with it. First, because I'm a fan, and second, because it's going to a charity. Like, I obviously would love to help out and raise money for. Um, and she responded, and then the next thing I know, we're on calls, we're organizing things. I'm explaining, like, the stuff that I've learned, how to get like a donation button. They decided to do it on Twitch and I was already familiar with Twitch and like OBS and Streamlabs and um, yeah, we were just like hit the ground running and it was like Monday. Thanks, Riz. I'll get back to your question. Um, we hit the ground running. I think it was like Sunday night. They're like, yeah, we're planning to do this on Tuesday. And I was like, shoot, we have 24 hours to get this rolling um and then it yeah it was yesterday from 5 to 9 p.m pacific and i'm still like mind blown from it it the whole stream was it was her her name is noel and her wife molly um and they were just going to chat chat about the series um, do some drawing requests of what people wanted to see, do like a QA. and a um, They had stretch goals, so every time they reached a certain um, amount in fundraising, they were going to do some like silly like truth and dare stuff or um, like expose a secret. Um, and they were hoping to reach 5,000. They thought really? maybe we can reach 10,000 the end of the stream we had $41,000 raised it was my like they were crying by the end of the stream and I was just sitting here like it we had it was all beyond all of our wildest dreams and if we had any idea of the amount of people who would show up and donate I would have like prepared an army for all of it there were so many donations coming in that I was trying to keep track of um, we had 4,200 on the stream, like, the whole time. 
the chat was you crazy. had four thousand two hundred people on the stream the whole time yeah we started out with three thousand and within probably the first 30 minutes we were at four thousand we never dipped below four thousand the whole time and there were constant donations and there were a couple points where um we were i think we we're at 20k and they hinted at something and the chat blew up they were like we want to know that we want to know it was um, like what are the characters kids would look like we want you to draw and they're like okay if you could get us to 25 we'll draw it for you blew up donations were going so fast i was like i can't keep up <laughs> and then i was on my phone i was watching it and i couldn't even it's like I couldn't even read something. It would it was just scrolling was too fast. So fast. <laughs> it was so fast. And then my favorite moment, I mean there were so many great favorite moments. And there was, there was just like great people, great vibes the whole time. Um we were at eight twenty and the stream ends at nine and I messaged them and I was like, Hey, we have forty minutes left. Do you wanna give them a final end go to end goal to reach? Um, yeah you know, while you like wrap it up and, you know, let's get it uh, like end strong basically. Yeah. And she hinted at having a secret about like the series and she like hinted at it, but was really embarrassed about it and did not want to talk about it. And her wife was like, well, what if we made it like, if they make it to 40, we were at 32 at that point. They're like, what if we make it to 40? Will you sh like, would you share it? Everyone was going crazy. Um, <laughs> and she was like, okay, if we make 40K by the end of the stream, and this was at 820, she's like, I will tell you guys my secret Yeah. about the show. Yeah. Um, t it took 10 minutes for them to raise the rest of the money. Damn. It was 830, and it, they had already reached 40K. It was, there were so many donations, so much chat, so many people trying to like, come together to reach it because they know it's a good cause and because they really wanted to know the secret <laughs> they raised seven thousand dollars in 10 minutes and my computer crashed yes <laughs> it was all going so fast all my stuff shut down and i was like that's amazing wow i pulled it up on my phone and i messaged them and i was like my stuff crashed it's it's rebooting but uh <laughs> we're close to 40k if we haven't reached it yet yeah yeah <laughs> Oh my god! And it was just like the power of, like them using their status for good, mm -hmm. and like the fandom all coming together to create content that they wanted to see, but also to go towards like something they all believed in. It was just wild. It was so cool. I'm so exhausted from it. Oh, we were so we had. I think the highest I saw was like four thousand four hundred people watching. Um, we were like one of the top Twitch streams. Really? Uh, Noel's name was trending in the US, in Brazil, and in like Italy or something on Twitter. Yeah. So it was. On Twitter? Oh, okay. Yeah. Twitter is their main, um, like their main platform. So they were. Thank you, Tano. The show. And it, yeah, it was. No, oh, I'm saying and... thank you. And you did it all, but thank you for the, for the, for the, for the acknowledgement. Um, okay, so what exactly did you do? And um, JP, bear with us. Um, we could wrap it up soon. We'll, we'll wrap it up in Talk a couple, but, uh, but 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 <laughs> like, let me just let me just give uh, thank you. Let me give Tori a couple of minutes, and it's totally me because I was on at nine forty instead of nine thirty. But like, um, <laughs> what exactly were you doing for the stream, and how yeah. how did that sort of you know, um, evolve. Sure. So the like pre-stream, it was a lot of prep. They had never streamed before. Like they had been, they guessed. had never streamed before. They had never streamed themselves before. <laughs> they had been guests on like podcasts and, you know, interviews, um, those kind of virtual things, but no, they had never live streamed before. So for the pre stuff, it was a lot of talking to them through like, okay, what platform um, have you used OBS? They were familiar with OBS and I introduced them to Streamlabs, which is where the donations came from. Um, how to like make the donations pop up on the screen, um, making me a moderator, explaining kind of like 
goals and logistics, like what they plan had planned in this dream, what they wanted to reach, how they wanted to celebrate milestones, um, how they wanted to communicate with me, how much they wanted me in the chat or in the stream. These were all um, questions you had that you were sort of like, how do you want to do this? How do you want to do that? Mm -hmm. Brilliant. All the stuff I've just learned from like doing this and, and Brilliant. Like watching live streams. Yeah. Um, You've also put a lot of time in probably more than me over the last couple months, like watching good live streams and picking things up. Oh, I like that. I like how Mount Walden does that with his donation button. I'm going to take that and you like, that's a big part of it. Right. For sure. For sure. Um, one phone. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, love you. I'll be back. I got, yeah. I got to go. <laughs> um, sorry. That was my dad. <laughs> Um, yeah, so just all the stuff that I, I was trying to ask a lot of questions that you wouldn't know unless you've already streamed before. Right. Um, Which is brilliant. Like that's, you did yeah. so much for them just by those questions. And, yeah. and I'm sure you put them at ease, like, okay, somebody on this team has done this before. Mm -hmm. And like, has the basic, like, are we going to take the 10? Or are we going to go up? You know, <laughs> like just basic questions. If you're driving across country, you know, like how, someone needs to have done this before and know what to ask to sort of get the most out of this. I'm sure they were very grateful to have connected with you um, as well. Yeah. Yeah. They, before we started they're like, we feel so much more at ease knowing you're there to help. And I can't imagine, I can't imagine them do all doing it by themselves just because of how heavy everything was like, Right. It was all moving so fast. I was like, I don't know how you would have been able to keep up with all of that and create content. Yeah. So I was super glad to be there. And then as far as like what I did um, during the stream, I moderated the chat. So if there are any people spamming, being obnoxious, kick them out, blocked words that were like inappropriate, um, blocked people if I needed to, but it was such a great crowd. I didn't feel the need to... I saw you also like, um, you know, you were kind of like announcing some goals on the message mm -hmm. chat, you know, hey, here's where we are, that kind of stuff. Yeah, um, I took a bunch of screenshots. I was like, ah, updated. Um, yep. I haven't sent them to you yet, but I was like, oh, shit. I think. Oh, please send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, <laughs> I got a bunch of stuff. It was like, because like when, when I saw Toriello in the stream, I'm like, oh, this is real. Like. <laughs> Because <laughs> up until that point, it could have been like, maybe she just tricked me into this. No, there's, there she is. This is unbelievable. Yeah, um, it was, I wasn't as much in the chat because I was so busy keeping the back end running. Yeah. Um, and keeping them updated. So like on their side, I kept them oh, updated right. on where we were with the goals. I was physically how are you adding how are you the numbers. Okay. How are you communicating um, with them during? We Text? used Google Chat. Okay. So I was chatting with them, and they had a separate iPad of just me, which was really cute. At one point, they're like, where's Tori? <laughs> and they, like, grabbed the, grabbed the iPad. Um, I heard them I, mentioning your name, too, which I love. <laughs> me, too. I was like, oh, I'm just a part. I'm, like, the hidden person in the other room. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I shifted through questions and drawing requests to, like, help them keep the content going without worrying mm. about like you know silences and being like oh what's next so so um, what you're saying is like if people had multiple requests for they were drawing in the middle of it and they were really um cool kind of cute drawings and there was all this interaction around the drawings but what you're saying is you were like maybe if there were four requests for drawings you're kind of like here's the one it is if you go to if you go to twitter Sorry, if you go to Twitch right now, you can see a chat replay um, oh, of it because I just, yeah. yeah. I'll post it after I get off. I'll it's Molly it. Ostertag. Yeah. Just Twitch If you just TV. Google Molly Ostertag, just like it sounds, Molly, O-S-T-E-R-T-A-G, Twitch, you'll go to her. That's what I did yesterday. You'll, you'll find her Twitch page. And then if you watch it right now, you'll see, at least I did, you'll see like a chat replay and you can see the whole thing kind of like moment by moment. Yeah. So, so you were uh, kind of curating those drawing requests. Mm -hmm. Drawing requests. Okay. 
and questions questions as they came in. yeah um yeah keep track of everything <laughs> unbelievable it it was it was incredible it was like i didn't know them before this and now we're friends we're gonna go hang out <laughs> They're like such great people who created such a great show, and I'm just like mind blown. My fiance wow. has never once been jealous of me, and I've worked with musicians, artists, celebrities, A-listers. She has never once been jealous of me, but when I told her I was calling and working with them, she walked out the room. <laughs> Who's jealous of you? Steph, my fiance. Oh. <laughs> The only reason I asked that again is because I felt like I talked over you when you said the word Steph. And so people might feel like when they, they're like, who, who is it? Who is it? I think that's great that she was like, she, you know, cause you've worked for, for numerous places where you've worked with like pretty big music names and even just stage names and, and all sorts of stuff. And this is the first time she was like, Arr! this was the first time she was like, I hate yeah. you. I can't believe it. She also introduced me to the show. So Oh, like she was watching it and she a couple episodes and she's like, you should watch it. It's great. How did you get linked in the first place? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so this is a, a, another great part. And then um, JP, I promise we'll, we'll bring you on. So, again, w one of the things I love about this story is that you just like jumped in there when there was this moment in time where most people might have played back and been like, oh, one of my biggest sort of like the people that I admire and that I would love to work with someday just mentioned something in their Twitter account. And like, I kind of have a little bit of a recent background in this, but I don't know what to do next. What did you do? With it? Like, how did I insert yeah. myself? Yeah. Yeah. So it was, they tweeted, we're doing, we're working on doing a charity live stream for the first time details coming and I had the confidence from this stream I had Pete in the back of my head saying do it you know enough go do it <laughs> and yeah I just retweeted them and was like hey I sent you a private message if you need a coordinator and in the private message I kind of went more background of being a friend Ale love the charity they're doing it yeah and said I had knowledge in um, coordinating live streams and moderating chats and yeah that I was a basically an event coordinator turned live stream coordinator. If you have questions, if I could help you, please let me know. Kind of like showed that I had enough knowledge without being like, pick me, pick me, you know? Um, yeah. And yeah, that was it. She saw the message. She responded. We jumped on a call and it was just like great chemistry and worked. And it was all because all these little pieces kind of came together. Like the pandemic happened. I started yep. learning about live streaming with Pete. Um, their, her show just had their finale. So it was like fresh off of a big like community and excitement. Um, yes. The Black Lives Matter movement started. Yeah. So definitely like all these things lining up that led to this the incredible charity stream. So I'm glad you guys are able to be here on this. This is like, it's so awesome. Um <laughs> And, and, you know, I'm just, I'm very happy for you. I'm very proud Thank that you. You, you, you did all of those things. And, you know, your answer when I said, like, well, how, how exactly did this come about? You said just the stars aligned, which I think, mm -hmm. you know, is a humble and good way of looking at it. But I think you made a lot of choices up until the last few days that positioned you in a way where when the stars did align, you were like, oh, the stars are aligned, right? So, I, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm really, I, I mean, I'm sort of speechless. Like, I'm just so, I'm so glad this was like the dream. Um, Thanks, Riz. Yeah. Hi, Thank ben. you, Riz. Um, so, so, yeah, kudos. I'll post the stream congrats. And we can continue this chat another time, yeah. too. Let's, let's, get let's do it. An, let's do another it. one. Yes. <laughs> and two, two things I just want to mention to sort of like um, wrap things up, and I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you go and I'll bring in JP. Um, actually, no, I'm going to have you on here for this. So there's two things that I would say is kind of takeaways for this for you guys, not to make this sort of like a, you know, teaching moment or something, but like the things that stand out to me are that in music in general, 
I think there's moments in time where there's some sort of a window open and you know there's an opportunity there and you sense that it's a time sensitive situation and something in your bones says, maybe I should lean into this. The average human tendency is, yeah, but what if it doesn't work? And yeah, what, you know, but I don't think I'm ready for that. What, who am I? And then all that shit that every single human being goes through, um, you know, lean in because this is the kind of shit that can happen. Um, I think for everybody, you have those moments in time. And, and I think it's just great to hear those things. The other thing I think from a specific live streaming perspective is one of the things that excites me about live streaming is that it's this sort of strange space within tech and within music and within media and within social media that's very, very dynamic right now. There's new people coming in. There's a lot of change. There's a lot of interest. There's a lot of confusion. You know, accomplished producers of, you know, uh, TV and film do not understand how it works and are desperately looking for someone to come in and coordinate a live stream that it's going to, there's, there's so much opportunity in that space right now mm-hmm. to do things, whether you're in music, whether you want to move forward in live streaming itself, whether you're a coordinator looking to, so like, this is what excites me and why I'm glad why I'm glad you guys are all on here is because live streaming is like this warp zone right now. And I want you guys to have your own stories that are similar to Tori and bring them on and be like, yo, you're not gonna believe what happened. Right. So we want more of that yeah, stuff. So Tori. Share those stories. <laughs> well you. done. Congratulations. I'll more be nerding come. out for the rest of the day. <laughs> yeah, we're we're all very, very happy for you. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. (laughs) All right. I'm going to go back in the chat. All right, JP. So good to have you on as well, my man. I'm going to bring you on. We got Annie on. Oh, okay. That's okay. Um, We'll have it on the replay on the YouTube, but Tori just did a, she just coordinated for um, a, a massively successful live stream with, Lots of great backstory on. Good to see you again, Ben. What's going on, my boy? All right, let's let's go. JP. Hello. JP. How's it going? It's going good, man. You can hear me, right? I can. Good. And I'm going to uh, I'm going to try something a little different this time. Um, I think this is probably a sign of me growing up in some way, because like up until now. (laughs) I always have my image on as the big image on my phone because somehow it just feels more, more comfortable. But like today I'm having you guys on as the, the big guests. Um, thank you for your patience, dude. No, no, it's all right. No problem at all. Um, first of all, before we get going, that's an amazing story with Tori. Um, wow. Yeah. Stars aligned. Definitely. That's, um, that's cool. That's really cool. I like that. I'm a big like superhero nerd. So I like that a lot. Are you really? Yeah, man. Massive. Um, so, so who who are some uh, who are some superheroes that like stand out for you? Oh, Marvel all the way. Um, so, yeah, um, Iron Man, um, Vision. Uh, yeah, the, the the big sort of well, anyone who flies really. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, I, I'm a big I'm a big big Marvel fan. So yeah, um, it's uh, uh, it's cool when. When I was a kid, sorry, I'm completely sidetracking. No, no, go, go, go for it. Um, go for it. When I was when I was a kid, it was sort of like oh, you, you're reading comic books, you, you, you nerd, like, and you pointed down at. Now it's cool, and it's like these kids have no idea how cool it is. I right? so yeah, so it's I'm I'm happy, and I've you know you see you see kids sort of with with comics or with a digital version. It's like that. I'm so happy that medium is still going um, because it's like um, you know a teenager listening to like. Um, Rolling Stones, you know, it's kind yeah. of like, yeah, that's still going, you know, it's still, still there. <laughs> so yeah, totally. Um, and by the way, Tori, if you want to post um, the Twitch uh, link um, or post anything on the series or stuff like that throughout, um, so people get a little bit more of a backstory on what the what the series is about. 
I, I mean, I can't say that I, um, that I like grew up like deep into comics and superheroes, but Iron Man to me spoke a lot. I don't know why. And what I like about it is the freedom that's involved when you have superheroes, there's so many different, you know, there's so many different things that can happen in that story that allow you to see different sides of human nature and humanity because yeah. it doesn't have to follow the normal, like, well, that's actually impossible, technically. Well, not now. And so you can see a more, um, uh, I think, a broader view of, of life by, by being a lot more um, sort of creatively open to what is possible. Thank you, Tori. Yeah, I think um, for me, like, uh, for example, like Spider-Man and like the symbiotes, which... Um, of course, the big thing, you know, the film came out for Venom and stuff like that. But that was a big thing for me, like the cartoons. Uh, so I transitioned into the cartoons from the comics from the actual paper comics. So, yep. yeah, it was kind of that. It was kind of that. Oh, this over, take over the world kind of thing. And and then in gaming, like they brought out games where you could just like it's like Spider-Man. You could just fly around anywhere over the, the city, you know, and you can just do missions that anywhere. So that was really cool because you're transported i'm a massive film person as well so you're 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 taken on a journey you're transported on a journey and also you know it's true with music you know music can um if you listen to if you well if you watch a film without music it's 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 nothing it's, it's not it's cinematically very clever very good but without that drama without that music there it's nothing you know it's it, it it's the music that makes you cry makes you laugh makes you go yeah you know so it's that energy that comes with that that's that makes it amazing um right from you know if i said spider-man theme tune you'll sing it and there'll probably be a smile on your face when you do it um if yeah. i said the a-team theme tune you know proper 80s kid so yeah <laughs> you, you you'll, you'll get you you know what i mean by that and then there'll be um songs and theme songs that people will listen to and go that brings back me being here or being a memory and that's with any kind of music yep yeah and i think it's also cool that when it's animated whether it's digitally animated or it's something that's done by hand the stream yesterday what was cool is you were getting to see these characters it's almost like if you have musicians that you admire and then you get to see them like write a song in front of you or yeah. like literally come up with a riff and then try and, you know, sort of sing, play a cover song or something like that. And you're like, fuck, that's like, that's so amazing. So the yesterday on the stream, they were drawing in real time as part of the stream. Yeah. And they were like, do we want, should we draw this? And should we draw that? And, and the response, what's fascinating to me, and I think what brings it sort of back to the live streaming thing and what's unique about live streaming for me, kind of looking in from the outside still, even after sort of nerding out on this for a couple of months, is that you can co-create with your audience. Yeah, yeah, totally. And, and you, can, you can sort of moderate that, like I'm gonna bring in the audience's energy about 20% of the way and have that ear to the ground where I'm like, okay, what are you guys thinking right now? And they're like, you know, um, draw something about this or they're commenting on it and, as you're doing it. So there's this extra energy in the room that's different than like an energy in the live venue, right? So yeah, yeah. one of the questions, one of the things that's exciting about having you on in particular is you have a background in music and a background in production and a background with a band. And then yeah. you've sort of gotten into this live streaming thing. What's the energy like? What's different for you when you're on a live stream performing and going, okay, I'm, I'm sort of reading the audience versus when you're on stage? So, yeah, let me go um, back a little bit and then I can answer yeah. the question. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, bands, gigs, pubs, solo, uh, all that kind of stuff, right? So, um, playing live, I've got a history of music uh, with, in, in my blood. Um, and yeah, just um, up until about three, three years ago, it was uh, playing a pub or busk live you know busk in the street that kind of thing uh, which i did and i still do and then i saw a 
um that but well i heard I, I listened to a lot of podcasts and uh there's a company which people may be very familiar with or not where if you make music and you want to distribute it you have to send it to a distributor and then that sends it out to things like itunes and spotify and everything else there's a couple of them out there um and the one of them is called cd baby mm-hmm. and cd baby have a podcast uh called the diy musicians podcast it's really mm-hmm cool so there was a podcast and i normally scroll through and go mm, yeah, i might be interested in that one i might be interested in that one. <laughs> the podcast was earned seventy four thousand dollars using facebook live and that was like for me it was like clickbait i was kind of like right i need to listen to this so rick barker who used to manage taylor swift um he um did a uh, a talk um, at DIY Musicians Live, I think it was, um, about Dawn Bayer. So it's B E Y E R. Um, so Dawn Bayer. And she made $74,000 in one year just on Facebook, just Facebook Live. And wow. I went, right, that's, that's, that's more than a starting doctor. I need to figure this out. So. Right. That really, and then, that sorry, sorry. How long ago yeah. was this ish? Was it a year ago, two years ago? That was sorry if you said the that. end of 2017. Okay. So I kind of like divulged that. Then I listened to it again and took notes. And the simplest thing in the world was get yourself a PayPal.me link and then right. start talking to people. So to answer your question, the reason why I wanted to talk about that is because to answer your question is yeah. if I'm in a pub, and yes, yep. I'm British. I say pub. Um, if I'm at a pub and... So you take I'm the playing, lift up to the pub. No, I'm kidding. I take, <laughs> and we have a point. Um, yeah. Yeah, no. So yeah, if um, if I am in a pub and I'm playing, I normally have a set list and I can gauge the room going, okay, a couple of people are doing this. A couple of people are just doing this, drinking. And a couple of people are just going, oh, that's it. Now you're either in the corner of the room and you are the backing music or you're center stage and people are there to like watch you. You're... So if they're there to watch you, mm. you're more aware of, oh, I need to get these guys dancing. I need, I'm the entertainment for tonight. Whereas if you're yep. in the corner of the room, it's kind of like, yeah, just play. Kind of stay Next out song. of the way. Yeah. Next song. So live is the watch you bit. It's 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 the it's the complete watch you bit because the thing is I could be and you won't watch it. Whereas if I'm going, hi guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to have a look at you engaged, and it's more right. you have to be more of a presenter in that respect. So um, speaking, even with, in live stage, yeah, totally. I mean, I'm 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 all about having a laugh uh, on stage anyway. It's like hi, uh, you're right. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's such and such walking in and. Um, you know, I, I'll make you know, slightly sarcastic jokes or anything like that. But being a bit of a host, there are bands who will literally stand there and and then walk off. And that's fine. But then you've got to look at people like if you went to see the Foo Fighters in Wembley, which I did, by the way. But if you yeah. went to see the Foo Fighters, you would be feel awkward if they played their songs and then you didn't have Dave Grohl talking in between the songs and go, yeah, man. And, and he, he engages with the audience. Freddie Mercury engages with the audience. So it's more about a performance. So take that into live streaming. There's people who will go into live streaming and they will look at sort of, you know, first of all, going, is it on? <laughs> and then that's fine. That's okay because it's live and it's not meant to be a full production in the sense of, you know, there's, there's live streams which are really well planned and like, you know, and, but at the same time, there's no engagement. So, mm-hmm. but then you've got ones that are really well planned and there's engagement as well, like talking points. So the engagement is massive. So if I was to do a live stream on, I'm predominantly now on you know, YouTube um, with my channel. Um, so if I did a live stream, it's probably going to be a talking live stream about music tech um, right. or here's how I break down this song. Um, and I like more instructional uh, in that respect. Or if I was to do a live stream where I'm performing live, then if someone then, you know, does a thumbs up or like, thanks man, cheers. Or I'll get a, can you play this song? I'll be like, yeah, cool. I'll put that in the list. So it's more about the engagement of making sure you acknowledge those people. Those people have taken the time to, talk to you they've taken the time right now there's a there's a 
it's there for me, but it probably looks like it's that way. Um, but there's a chat going on right now. Um, mm. And Tori's going, here's all my, here's the links and everything else, which is cool. Thanks. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, there's, um, but then it's having that engagement. So if there's engagement there, you've got to acknowledge it, I think, in a live stream. Um, unless it's, you know, a live stream of someone on stage that they can't talk to you because they don't know it's being live streamed. Does that make sense? Um yeah, yeah. Like it's a and, like and, it's a gig like that. Like Elton John's playing on stage, and you're watching it. It's like watching it on the telly. You know, it's like right. that same feel. Uh, whereas if it's me in front of this microphone and talking in front of the camera, and then someone says something, it's kind of expected that I kind of talk back. Yep. Um, you've just hit upon something that I think is super interesting for a couple of reasons. Uh, I'm just checking to see who's here. Um, you guys, by the way. Um, Feel free to ask questions and, and yeah. um, mention things that you guys would like to learn about. You know, for, for me personally, that what you just described is literally the hardest part about live streaming is being engaged in the conversation, having some sense of where this might be going and what we want to sort of put out there. And then yeah. at the same time, what's up, Zucko? Um, doing what I just did a second ago, which is actually checking in with the reality of the stream yeah, at the same exactly. time. Yeah. And so I feel like musicians and, 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 you know, as a group, we, we know how to perform a lot of us. We've done that before. Yeah. What's, what is it like before I ask that? I want to, I want to properly kind of introduce you and let people know a little bit more <laughs> Sorry, about the yeah. background, <laughs> even though no, no, those people am. that are on here. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 but, but I want to get into sort of like that, that sort of sweet spot where you're learning how to do that engagement as a, a musician that's moved into it. But yeah. tell us about, you know, your, your, your background growing up in, yeah. in the UK and in music and moving into live stream. Sure. No worries. Before we carry on doing that, Zucco, just give me a quick answer. What is the best game you're playing right now? So um, the, I, I just want to know, I just want to know, I'm just interested from a gaming perspective. Um, so my background is in music. I have a degree in digital music. And the that's nuts. And um <laughs> and the I've been in bands and I've always had music. So I've got three albums out uh independently. Uh, everything I release is independent. I'm not signed to a label or anything. And um I've done um and a couple of EPs as well. And I'm also with a, um, a friend of mine, and we are a duo in a 80s synthwave band as well. Um, but I'll sidetrack that for a second. And my background in music is my dad's. Um, it started with my dad. My dad was a sound engineer in the 70s and um, huh. did live stuff. Um, my earliest, some of my earliest memories was coiling cables, which were from the PA equipment. Um, our back room had 18 inch bass cabs and I could crawl in one. Um, so yeah, it was pretty <laughs> much there, like as in, uh, so he was a sound engineer um, for um, the Liverpool Radio City um, radio station. And uh, as well, he did like the Z shift on things like that, but also he did loads of gigs around Matthew Street, around like in Liverpool, he did loads of stuff all there. And the Empire Theatre, things like that. So it was kind of like, pu not pushed on, it was never pushed on me, sorry, but it was kind of like always there. And then yep. there was no surprise when I went, I want to learn the piano. And then at about age nine, um, I, we, we, me and my friends from school formed a band. I was playing drums at the time. And then that was it. I was kind of like, right, that's it. That's the way I want to go. And um, <laughs> I also then got into sort of performing arts and um, because I'm very, very loud. <laughs> that's probably the other way to say it. Um, so that's my background. And um, having a degree in digital music was, um, was fantastic because I'm quite a tech nerd anyway, and knowing a lot about technology as a natural passion, and then having music as a natural passion, when live streaming has now, I believe, in its sort of golden era right now, or the beginnings of a golden era, it's not even in its golden era, it's at the beginnings of it. Um, mm. And I'm going to say something really odd, and I do not mean this in any disrespect to anyone um, at all, but... I think musicians and performers who've taken to live streaming in a really horrible but weird way kind of have to thank what's happened around the world to force them into figuring out something new. 
and I don't mean that in any disrespect at all. My, my, my partner works for the NHS and I don't mean that in any disrespect. So what I mean by that is that it's kind of forced our hand. Um, and then I was doing stuff from on YouTube, you know, bits and bobs and trying to put out one video a week. So I was editing videos and then I started getting messages, JP, how do I live stream? How do I do what you did last year on Facebook? How how do you connect your mic to your iPhone? And st all these things started coming in. There's a guy who um, plays locally, plays gigs, he plays all covers. He doesn't play original music uh, locally here. He does between two and three shows a day. Um, and he goes, does afternoons, he does evenings. He's got nothing. He's got no shows whatsoever now because... Mm all the pubs are closed all, all you know mm. so he, he was panicking proper panicking how do i pay my mortgage um yeah. one of the other guys um does gigs all the time and again similar situation how do i do this but it wasn't more how do i do this it was then the second stage was how do i make money from this how do i reap the reap the the money that i've lost from a gig so i started getting that information um together and then i was like right i'll make a video about it that video has exploded because i um i put it up just for my friends, really, it just go here, here it is, kind of thing. And if anyone else want, is, finds it useful, great. Um, so that went up at the end of April. It's now over 90,000 views, um, and it's the highest view on my YouTube channel. But it's also spurred me to do other things like how do you use OBS? How do you um, connect a phone wirelessly to your Mac? Um, how do you, what's the best microphone to use? Um, uh, and my big thing about that is how to monetize. That, you had a really yeah, how good to monetize. one that was yeah, short I did, on, you know. I did, one, how, I did one which was how to make money live streaming. And um, the number one thing I did, as I said before, was uh, um, PayPal.me PayPal .me link. And then I would, I even have a stream where I took the phone, no my special microphone or anything, the phone in a tripod. And um, I started streaming in long form on Facebook and then uh, just mentioned, by the way, I've got a paypal.me account, which is paypal.me forward slash John Paul Music. If you want to tip me, think of it as busking, but a virtual tip jar, you don't have to do it. I'm doing this anyway. But if you'd like to do that, no problem. Then it kind of spiraled from there, really. So the next one for me now is buy me a coffee. So buymeacoffee.com is what I predominantly use for tipping. Mm. And mm. it's fantastic uh, for any musician who wants to, um, you know, use the system but don't feel like you want to beg for money because no one wants to feel like they're begging for money and you can do um consultations through buy me a coffee you can do monthly memberships a little bit like patreon um but they don't have to do that you can just do a single tip and it's buy me a coffee it's a coffee you know it's not like you're going send me three dollars send me five dollars um and that's another thing as well I've, I've since doing this um over the past sort of six months i'm even though I'm here, I'm mainly talking in dollars uh, because my audience are predominantly US. Um, so hence why, you know, we're doing it at this time where it's morning for you and it's evening for me. Um, right. So, yeah. So things like that are huge. You know, um, you know the um, PayPal.me link, um, buy me a coffee. And then from that, I've kind of then started to look at other things. You may have noticed I'm wearing an orange T-shirt. And on that orange T-shirt, it says, how do you loop? Now, I'm a loop artist. So you're saying about things where people draw things live and you get things live looping. Um, that's what I do. And people love it. People love watching the song be built in front of their eyes. And right. this is from Teespring. So this is a Teespring T-shirt um, that I've created. I've made this myself. I've created the logo and everything. And there's stuff on the back as well. It's, a, it's another load of logos of looping. And... Um, Sorry, oh, says you love loop artists. Loop artists. Oh, Sorry, yeah. right. Go and have a look at what I've put on YouTube. You'll love it. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So um, from that, I get people buying the T-shirts and then hoodies and things like that. So, again, it's another monetization um, yep. of how to push it to the point where you go, okay, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's something coming in. You know, it can be, for some people, incredibly lucrative. Now, talking of lucrative you're on this platform you now now you now yep. does everything with gold bars and uh, you've only got to look at them go on the app store look at you now and there is emma right on the front because she is one of the biggest people on you now she's made an entire 
career off not just you now but obviously by then using you now as a platform to then sell her merchandise so i'm sure. going to stop talking at that point because i know that, you know any of these social media sites you now youtube facebook twitter periscope they're a vehicle that's how i see it it's a vehicle youtube could turn off tomorrow right what are you going to do if you put all your money into say oh i'm going to use i'm going to get ads i'm going to get the street and the money from ads if youtube turned off tomorrow where's your money so what how are you going to how are you going to get a living out of that so the idea is then do something else um do what you do but then get the <laughs> monetization from um Rizier says, oh, we're yeah. dead if YouTube is gone. Yeah, I know. Um, yeah, right. it's, like, it's not going to happen. But I made, but just just a parallel universe where um, it suddenly tomorrow they make an announcement and go, we're going to turn off YouTube. Bye. -bye. Um, then we all going to we're all going to panic. Uh, so the the best people who can monetize their system is where they go. OK, this is this. Da, da, da. Sign up with my with your email to here to my website. And I'll send you something or I'll give you something in exchange for your email address. Email, no matter what, is still the number one way of communicating to your dedicated followers. You can get new followers from you now, YouTube, everything else. But email is still the number one thing where if you put an, an email to 3,000 people and a quarter of them respond to it, go and buy this T-shirt, it's 25% off. Yeah. If you get 10% of them doing that, that's more than I could do in an hour where I get an hour and go, it's 10% off of, you know, like 50 people on the stream. Now, with Tori's example before we, before I came in, you got 4,000 people dedicating to a cause. That's very, very different than trying to monetize to make money. Does that make sense? Yep. yep. Um, well, I'm so sorry. You're going to have to stop me at some because I'm going to just talk for ages. No, no, you, you you've. You've got yourself a problem on your hands, which is that you've covered so much good shit that you're now going to be here for the next two hours because I'm not letting you go without going through each one of these because each one of these is, a, is, a, is a fucking live stream in itself. Yeah. And this is why I wanted to get you on. So we got a genius on on, on genius. the, uh, on the really? stream here. No pressure, but we're expecting some sort of equation at the end of this would be the only um, thing that I'm going to ask for. Music plus PayPal equals monetization squared. I don't know. Um, <laughs> that's a good place to start. Okay, so seriously, there's so much shit that I'd like to unpack. But okay, here's, the, here's the thing. I also Let's go. I want, I, want, I want to open up for the folks that are here because I want you guys to be a part of this and I want you be, to be able to answer your questions. So like yeah. Rizieri... Um, you know, if you want to ask some things about the basics of getting a live stream playing, um, Annie, if you want to understand a little bit more about marketing a live stream artist or a, a live stream property, um, Tiffany, I don't, I don't know you yet, but the more you get to, to know us here, I'll, I'll have some, uh, leading question for you as well. You guys are welcome to ask questions uh -huh. of JP. Um, so here's Riz. He's got one. If I Great. do it to carry, but just paid for distro kid. Guess who I use now? CD Baby. No, Distro Kid. Yeah, it's not I used to I've used CD Baby before and I've still got an account with them and I've got an album which is waiting to be done for them. I now use CD Baby. I uh, sorry, I now use Distro Kid all the way. Uh reason is because um District Kids um, is just really, really simple. Um, if I was to pay eighty dollars for thank a you, Tori, elite... for posting that. Yeah, thank you. Um, oh, so actually, so, right. so 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 Tori just posted. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. So Tori just posted JP's Distro Kid page, which will give you like a good um, example, and then um, if you can, Tori, not to make this like a commercial for District Kid, but it's relevant. So if you could just post like, here's a DistroKid website to sort of start to explore yeah. things. I think what Rizieri is asking um, is kind of like, how, how do what, what are the basics of getting my page up or getting my account started? So, so I have a um, if you if you go to my YouTube channel, yeah, right? um, I have a um, 
um, a distro kid video. Now I'm going to be completely um, transparent in that. That was a sponsored video and it is sponsored by distro kid. They contacted uh, me. We had a conversation about it, about how to get more people on the distro kid. So I'm going to be completely honest there that yeah. it is about that. However, I now use that surface. Um, so, well, and, and I remember if I'm if I'm not mistaken, your restream dot io video was also sponsored in some way. It was, yeah, it was sponsored. But by it was bad, yeah. and it was badass. In other words, thank you. Sure, there's a little piece at the end where where you know you Here's might a get link. a little bit of information. Like I might but, get something but, from it. Yeah, but it's it's you know it's really good content, and you have a particular strength to be able to explain things things simply. Okay. And very sort of, that makes sense. Well, that makes sense. Well, shit, that's not as complicated as I thought. Yeah. So I, I, I haven't I, seen the distro kid video. I've seen a lot of your other. It ones. was a little bit further back. Um, I mean, I, I do like to break things down because okay. I do it. What I do is, and I'm, I'm a digital person. There's an iPad right here. There's an iPhone there. There's a Mac here. But you're out of control. I, thanks, man. Um, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> Keyboards, computers, a. Uh, uh, hey massive massive looper which is down here um ridiculous uh that's the that's, that's the your board. gig setup right yeah man that's the head rush looper board and the tc helicon uh voice live play acoustic um which i'm which i did a video on last year um at oh, oh don't get me started on that will be it <laughs> night. um what so of that stuff your favorite piece of gear in that back area there is the lexicon or what tc helicon the helicon at the sorry at the, the tc helicon at the moment mainly because because it, it's it's never failed me. It's and uh, for creating harmonies, um, it's uh, TC Helicon. In my opinion, and it's arguable, but it's my opinion um, is they are the best for vocal harmony processing, which sounds the most natural. You just play a G, it understands it's a G, and then you just get a third and a fourth, or a fifth and a fifth, or an octave and an octave. And their entire TC Helicon range, which comes from TC Electronics, is an arm of them. But TC um, Helicon range is just phenomenal. I've had um, the Harmony G, the Voice Live, the Voice Live? Yeah, the Voice Live Touch 1, the Voice Live 2, the Voice Live Touch 2, the Voice Live 3, and now I'm on that one. And the reason I'm on that one is because I the, the Voice Live 3 Extreme is amazing, but because it, the looping side of it is not as fantastic. So it's more geared towards the effects side of it. So I need something that's got effects and something that's got really good looping. Enter and so you're using rush. it. You're using it for looping just vocals or vocals and guitar and everything. Vocals and guitar and me making stupid noises as well. Um, Amazing. So if I understand correctly, what you just said was that you're in the middle of the song, you play a G chord, and mm -hmm. you're improvising. You're improvising mm -hmm. not just melodies but harmonies. Mm -hmm. And if you get more or less a third above, more because nobody sings exactly in key. Nobody. So you hit a third, or you hit a fifth, or you hit an octave. And it basically just sort of kind of creates this backing vocals that's, let's call it tuned, or at least certainly harmonized around harmonized. what you just did. Harmonized. Yes, if I, if I go, ha, and make that note, and I'm playing a chord, which is uh, like G, I don't even know mm -hmm. if that's a G, but then if it, I, I, I have settings on it, so if the setting says it's a third up and a fourth down, it will automatically create the third up and the fourth down. So if I go, ah. I play a G, and I go, ha, 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 it'll go. Parallel. Yeah, it's really clever, really, really clever. So um, you set that up ahead of time. You say, I want to go a third up and a fourth yeah. down. But you don't have to set the which key it's in at all, which a lot of them you do. So there's no key needed. Mm. You just plug a guitar in. And I play in Dadgad. I play in traditional as well. Um, I want to just wind back a bit because talking about DistroKid, because I feel like uh, sure. Rizzo is um, talk, talking about a question there. Um, so yeah, yeah the, 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 the thing that Tori put up is um, the 80s synthwave band Tokyo Wasteland. And you'll see it says hyperfollow. So distrokid.com forward slash hyperfollow forward slash Take it, waistline, forward slash take it slow. Take it slow is the brand new single that's coming out on the 26th. Plug. And, yeah. um, um, and hyper follow is when you put a single, an EP, or an album up, it automatically generates that link for you. It generates a hyper follow link. This is where it gets really clever. And I absolutely love this because you don't have to do any legwork at all. CD Baby charge you, I think it's $20 a year for a. Um, for a um, a one page website, which then you have to then repay for if you want it. So I did that for my third album called Walking Home, and it's 
one link and it takes you to the it's very beautiful and it takes you to the uh, album and then it says here's the album how do you want to listen to it and you can click spotify apple music pandora you know all these different things this one what it does is it goes right as it gets added to the playlist like as it gets added to apple music the apple music link drops as it gets added to spotify the spotify link drops so then you mm. just click on it and the spot and they're really really tied in with spotify um i'm an apple music person for listening as an as a listener but yep. um the district kid are very very tied in with spotify and here's what I'm going to bring back what I was talking about about 15 minutes ago. You as a listener, your fans, you you, you give them that link. Your fan yep. then um, clicks the Spotify link and you get their email address. Interesting. So it's pre-save, so they get something out of it. They're getting the pre-save out of it. You get their email address. And then what happens is then also, um, I feel like I'm like working for district kid now. Yeah, but, no, go. Um, but what they also do as well is um, they then, if you're, if if the if the customer has allowed it, that's the best way of putting it, if they've allowed yep. for what they listen to to be taken by Spotify, you can see what they listen to as well, and not not in the sense of like spying on them, but in the sense of what kind of music do they listen to. So it gives you a, a kind of graph of this person has li- has, has pre-saved your stuff, but they also listen to The Midnight. They also listen to Britney Spears. They also listen to you know in that kind of sense. So it's really clever. Um, so District Kid have a couple of clever things like that up their sleeve. Um, mm-hmm. You can add in the lyrics, so you, the lyrics move uh, in time with the music, uh, which cool. is cool. Yeah, um, you've got um, uh, the, well, it's more it leans towards Spotify really, where you can then say, well, that is out then. Uh, it's more than two weeks away, so therefore let's push it to Spotify for them to review it and maybe put it on a playlist. And that's that, and that's that's the difference between you, your friends, your uncle, and your nan working with like um you know downloading it as opposed to going let's put it on friday um release you know friday like discovery um so and- riz you you mentioned you said you know that works with uh, i think so shazam, and TikTok. shazam yeah. and tiktok do you mean that do you mean <laughs> that distro, distro kid kicks them to those platforms or do yep. you mean that it's possible okay yeah. So okay. um, it also, if you want to, you can push it to. I think you have to pay. I think a, a dollar. I oh, know it's free. Um, is Facebook and Instagram. So if I put, create then mm-hmm. the Facebook or Instagram story, I can pick my own music to promote my music, and the music oh. plays in the background okay. like for fifteen seconds. So then, yeah. if someone watches that, you get money. <laughs> so wow. Yeah. If so someone it, basically it, watches it, your it's ad. Point, it's not quite not 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 eight percent, but it's like you yeah, know it, but... it's it you know if you've got a million people doing it, then that's it. Give up your day job. Um, so it sounds like you really feel like Distro Kid. For, I mean, perfect example. Like this is a, this is a good kind of AB example. Like Rizieri literally has one song that we're trying to yeah. get sort of in the pipes. It's not like he's got right. a whole record or a whole label. Yeah. And and you think that Distro Kid is the simplest sort of plug and play but scalable yeah. solution yeah, scalable. Right yeah that's a really good word to put it scalable so it's really simple plug and play upload it upload your artwork is it original is it a cover uh because they can sort out covers as well and um i said this as a really um uh, uh, in one of the streams about having to do live streaming so yep. one of the guys who is local to here he's like i've been doing loads of live streaming and there was this really cool version of this song that i did and i was like okay cool i said have you got a recording of it he said well it's on facebook so cool download it is the audio quality good he said yeah cool downloaded it uploaded it as a cover and he's like loads of people want to hear it again but they want to hear that specific performance you can put it on this kid as a cover and that's it done um, so you, you can now go, you know, that thing you were all asking for, you can now put it in Spotify. You can now put it in Apple Music. So that is something that's really cool. I really like that because then what you're doing is you're taking different technologies and mashing them together for your benefit. So if you've done a really cool live stream, you've plugged in, you know, a microphone, an audio interface, it sounds really good. Um, if you're using, Tori will know this, if you're, if, if you're using something like OBS, um, OBS streams the this, but then also at the same time, it records it. And it records it at either the same quality or even higher if you want to. And then if you've just got the audio, which is above CD quality, you can just pick the audio out, chop it up and go, there you go, give that to DistroKid, single. 
So basically you can create a releasable single of a live stream performance. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Or you could create, you, you could, if you, it's, it's $20 a year. You, so you could, you could do every live stream. You could actually go, here's a live stream and almost look at it from a podcast point. I mean, it'd be an hour long or, yeah. you know, 50 minutes. But you, technically you could do that if you wanted to. Yeah. Here's another option. Yep. Live stream for a year. Note down the best ones that you did. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pick them all. Create an album. Yeah, create like a curated. It's almost yeah. like, um, you know, I, I can't think of one over uh, off the top of my head, but like there are live albums of classic bands yeah. that were actually yeah. an amalgam of, oh, well, this was from June 24th and this was yeah. from October. Yeah. But it was the same tour. And it was yeah. the same vibe and it was and the so, same energy yeah. and the same instrumentation. And so when you listen to the live album, it runs like it's one, um, you know, night, but yeah. it's actually the best of. Yeah, because they, someone, they, they someone's going to do that they, and crush mixed, it and make that a thing. Yeah, they've mixed right? like the audience doing this, you know, like from one to the other, and then it sounds seamless. Uh, Rizzo, with that, yeah, the content ID, uh, a fingerprint on YouTube, five dollars. The simple way to do that is just detick the youtube one um so don't have it going to youtube if you're not worried about youtube music and then when you put if you want to put it up on your own channel then you're not going to get into a weird thing where they go oh you're using someone else's music when it's actually yours well, don't think don't you, you think what uh, you know leading question but don't you think it's worth five dollars to have your song on youtube yeah absolutely but the, th the other thing as well is it's content that someone else can use so you know, in that respect, you, you, you could technically go, all right, well, let's use it for, um, I want to put, like, say, let's just say, like, my friend loves my song, and they're creating a story on Instagram, um, but they can use my song. So I, I always tick that anyway. And then I only, the reason I tick it is because I want to create stories myself on my own Instagram page about my song. So I don't want to get into trouble mm. for it. So actually, I'm, I'm actually tagging my own song in the story. I'm doing it for Tokyo Westland as well and yep. hey unknown and um and we're just basically creating that so um i created a couple of days ago uh take it slow um post then i did a take it slow story and in that story is the take is is the track you know so it's all going to be there for you so i uh, know yeah. thank you for for showing up and bringing your friends i appreciate you good to see you again it's been a little while um awesome yeah i mean i think i think it's fair to say that um Distro Distro Kid is definitely worth looking into. It's got it's got a lot of different um, components. I don't know a lot of the most most of what we've covered today was new information for me, honestly. It's 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 one of those things as well where I think a lot of people in, in, with any with any service, um, if you look at that service four years ago, and you had a bad experience with it or you didn't like it, you'll never look at it again. Whereas mm. if you go, ah, oh, let's revisit it, you'll instantly go, ah, oh, I remember when and I had that happy bothered. and mm. I actively look around. Um, yeah. There's one service, uh, which I won't name because I don't want to shame them, um, which I had a really, really bad experience with for distribution. Um, really bad. Like, like, like this customer service was rubbish. Um, they wouldn't communicate with me. They wouldn't give me my ISRC codes until I actually begged them. Um, it was bad. And... I probably, if they completely revamped their, their engine and their, they fired everyone and rehired everyone, I wouldn't go back to them because yep. I've had a bad experience with it. So, um, and if I was to go, all right, let's try and look at that. And um, What's up, go, Llama? If I was to basically go um, and but go back to that company, I would have a, like a pre sort of like mm, about it. You yeah, know, like a I, sense of it. Like a sense of it. So yeah, so it's it's yeah. everyone has an experience with it. And I think distributing is daunting. Um and district is the easiest one, I think. Um that's why yep. I've gone I've go with it now. And also there has never been a better time to release music. We are not any musician, we are not in competition. Get that out of your head right now. You're not in competition with another musician. Because we are listening to music faster and more than ever before. We are not in competition. I actually created a playlist on Spotify and I grabbed everyone I know around here and created a playlist for it. They got more streams off that playlist than they did individually. So mm. we're not in competition. There's, there's the, once you've listened to an album, what do you do? 
I mean, does anyone listen to an album anymore? I do because I'm a certain age, but look, people listen to a lot of singles. So I remember going to, we had a shop here, which is HMV. Uh, you know, HMV is now on the verge of going, but I remember going yeah. every every Monday and going and getting the latest single. And I, would, I had singles and singles because you want to play them together. You can, you've got, you, we have to take stock of where we are in live streaming and sorry, in live music streaming, sorry. Um, yep, yep. Where we, it doesn't matter. It does not matter I, whether, like, like you know, if you're going to get the A-list celebrities who are going to go, here's my new album, here's Drake's new album, he's going to get a lot of plays anyway, right? Here's such and such's album, who's who's amazing, and everyone knows him in the UK, but no one knows him in the US. Um, here's uh, me. <laughs> That's right. okay. Think of it as leagues in football, you know, or, or in, in soccer or in American football. It doesn't matter if you're there or there, you're still going to play. Um, so when we're not in competition in that respect, when you're competing for uh, the best single of 2020, yeah, you're yep. in competition with someone else, but you've got so many people live streaming who could record that stream and then post it. You've got so many people who are at home at the moment. I'm still at home um, from my day job and um, you know, recording things. You've got amazing technology right in front of your eyes. Um, there's a guy. Um, oh my God, it's the, his name's escaped me. It'll come back to me. But basically, there's a guy about two years ago who brought an album out, and it was just all done on his iPhone with GarageBand. That was it, and completely free. So much so that he didn't even use a microphone. He he had a pop shield and sung into the iPhone microphone. Um, wow. Steve something. Steve. I'll remember it about when this was this finished i can't remember his name um and he um yeah and he's he's gram he, he, he was grammy grammy nominated um so hmm. for that album yeah wow he, he, he went crazy. on tour and started collaborating with people as well so but yeah by the way um, mama thank you for inviting your fans and thank you for you guys for being here i i think that speaks to something that i was chatting about um in our last live stream here which is i like yeah there's certain things about this stream that it's very organic and new and sort of we're all learning as we go. But I like that this space is one where everybody's here listening and chiming in and helping and there's no, yeah. so there that sense of like competition that you have in music. Um, I mean, I, I think that's healthy to have always like a certain healthy sense of competition. But I think in this space, one yeah. of the things I love is about, we have people like you on board we have people that are at various stages of their production yep. career, live stream career, et cetera. And everybody's sort of virtually in the same room going, okay, how can I learn something today? And how can I help someone yeah, that's trying yeah. to figure something out? And that energy is, is so awesome to me. Think, think of like you now, right now, you know, that the, the, there is a, there's a sub thing with you now about like upping your level, like getting higher and higher and higher. That's, uh -huh. But then people have this thing of going, well, um, Emma McGann is up here, right? Right. Um, yeah. She's doing it every day, like a couple of times a day. Um, and if you're just starting out, it's absolutely fine. I, you, you can ask my fiance. I was like, oh, I'm not going to get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. I'm now like, on the verge of 4,000 in six months. And, and it's because of being consistent and putting out content. And when you're saying about me breaking down content, first of all, thank you. Um, yeah. Because it's validation for me that I'm kind of doing the right thing. And I just want people to go, this is available. What do you think? Use it. You know, and uh, but then you know, we're all striving to do better. Um, I helped a guy out, and his name is Marvin Goldstein. And um, Marvin is now 70 years old. He contacted me via Facebook um, uh, from watching the YouTube channel. We've had live Zoom calls, and um, he got a load of equipment. And I didn't really know who he was, and I Googled him. He's played on 40 albums uh, as a pianist, um, he's toured worldwide he's played in vegas he is um he's for his, for what he does he's he's there you know he's up and he's sitting there in florida going do i connect that to that you know for right yeah so it's like you know it's all a learning curve for live streaming and again so, it's so it's so exciting because it's this sort of um odd space where people who are hyper accomplished are yeah. like dude how do i plug this in and llama yeah. by the way 39 songs is is that's i mean wow. that's exactly the same that's amazing and, now here's and I a good question that, for you llama i want you consistency right 
Yeah, yeah. For, for La- sorry, apologies. I didn't mean to cut you out there. No, no, no. Um, no. Go, go. So for Lama, a real quick question for you. Are you looking to release that as an EP? As, are you looking to release it as a big album? Are you going to release it as singles? What's going to give you more traction? What's going to give you more consistency? If I released an album in January, I went, there's the album. That's it for the rest of the year. Um, whereas if you, I believe now, even though I love albums, and I've done the for all the, what, what, what could you do with those 39 songs? What could, could you just release one, one a week? Because you do fifty-two, uh, and then uh, and release one a week. No, it's it's a lot of hard work. But yeah, an album that's amazing. Um, and the thing is, it's one of those things where an album tells a story. So having that story laid out across, you know, however many days, weeks, months, years, it's going to be massive. You know, and for people who follow you and people who I do one new song each day. Wow, that's awesome. Wow, that's yeah. You're push. You're pushing that's sort of Elton really John. Really fucking hard. Uh, that's the, yeah. to write a song a day is like really just on but it's great and, yeah, it, and it gets awful. that so 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 um llama also like if if uh are, are do you have a sense of which of those songs are going to be album tracks yet or are you just kind of writing and sort of figuring that out as you go um i think one of the things that's interesting about live streaming is it's this very cool intermediate step before you're releasing something a little more formally. You can jam on things, you can write things, you can collaborate with people, you can mention songs, you can play something and get a vibe. You can literally road test. It's like what people used to do when they would go on the road and they'd be like, let's just slip in that new song in the middle of the set and see what the fuck happens. You can do that on live streaming now too. And literally, depending on how you're set up, you can go back and watch what the comments were and how many people said mm-hmm. different kinds of things and all that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. So, um, Lama, we'd love to have you on and, and play some of those songs. One of the things we do is kind of a side project of this um, this thing. And you know, if you're if you're interested and down to do this, you're absolutely welcome. Is we'll we'll bring people's music on and just sort of talk through it, production, yeah. arrangement, theory, whatever it is. So Lama says I've been recording them and posting them on Band Lab. Yeah, been posting them and on Instagram as well. So yeah, I mean, I think there's something to be said uh, for just creating regularly. That's one of the things yeah. I was fortunate enough that when I started looking into this space two months ago, the first person I spoke to, literally, was Emma McGann. I'm a yeah. journalist, and I and I said, who's the person that's going to give me the real fucking deal? Yeah. And she speaks to that sort of presence of just yeah. just being on all the time and reading the room and creating and being yourself and being authentic yeah. and engaging with your audience. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, again, if you guys have specific questions for JP, I want to ask you a couple of things. Go for what it. do you, what do you think about you now and how it fits into the grand scheme of everything else that people are, are up to? It's um, I don't know if, Emma feels the same way as this, but you know is bigger in the UK now than it was probably say two years ago. Hmm. Um, but it's not like the biggest, you know, it, it's um but you now is the concept is brilliant because you don't have pre recorded. And I, I, I think that's really unique. And it's if you watch my videos, you will see that I don't say, um, and basically because I have said them all and I've cut them all out uh, because it's all been edited and it's all, you know, very, very, you know, stringently edited. Um, right. With, uh, with a live stream, <laughs> yeah, I do it all the time. With a live stream, you know, things could happen. I could knock a cup over, I, you know, the cat could come and sit on my lap and put all his claws in me. And, <laughs> um, you know, th- it's the it is the live thing it's happening now it's an event um so i think that's why a lot of the other platforms like um youtube (laughs) they're now starting to uh, tory says both uh, of those happen (laughs) on the stream yeah i saw the cat come on there's three in this house there's three cats in this house i'd be so careful um Uh, yeah and they're probably um, going what what yeah as as soon as i go on they all go Uh, so um yeah but it's for sure it's one of those things where um the the live element it I, you can see now why 
um, things like YouTube, I think they've taken a page out of you now because what they've done is they've done things like super chats um, where you pay to have your chat like, really, really, that's been on you now for ages. You know, that equivalent has been on you now for ages and then the thumbs up and the, the gold bars. So yeah, if you can make, a, you know, if you're thinking from a monetary value, you can make a, a really lucrative income from you now. You can make a lucrative income from um, YouTube. Um, YouTube, there was a, there was a, doc, there was a, um, a article saying that uh, YouTube were toying with the idea of an applause button. Um, right. So, uh, it's like you, in beta now or something. Yeah, and they're testing it with a couple of people. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't seen it myself yet, but where you can applaud the video and it's two dollars, it's like tipping. So it's like it's like this, but with a pre-recorded video and live stream. So imagine you've created something four years ago. You've done a performance. It's awesome, really cool production. And then someone else finds it tomorrow and they do that. You've just got $2 from four years ago. So people are talking now about evergreen content. Content. But let me, let me ask you about that. Around. Because you made that point on the video and I think it's a good point, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a devil's advocate and say- Go for it. To, to, to my, to, and again, Everything I, everything that comes out of my mouth right now is parroting someone that I think is smarter than me in this field because I don't have any original ideas. Everything I you know I learned from yeah. Emma or Sherry Hugh or somebody and then I go, yeah, that sounds like it's pretty smart way. But so again, in my mind, a lot of what makes a live stream valuable is there's some feeling. I don't know a better way to describe it, but there's some feeling that one gets when they're live on that stream mm. about what's going on that makes you want to en engage and, and throw some money and, and throw some likes and throw some love into that. And after the fact, um, absolutely after the fact, so unknown, I'm not, you, you read this question fifth faster than I, I am. What is, what do you, when do I have time? Can you check out? Um, when do you have the time? Can you check out? 7,000 apart, apart. they're live now. Okay, dope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, 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 so do you think that that works where people are going to be tipping something four years old? It's good, but to me, what's driving the, um, the desire to actually, you know, whether it's tipping or bars or, you know, props, it yeah. is, is being there in the moment and and having that engagement be a part of it yeah. do you do you agree or disagree um the engagement is I, i'm gutted if i miss a live stream from one or two people like so there's a guy who uh is david Shaw. i can't pronounce his surname shawhan um david shawhan mm -hmm. he's um he's uh in new zealand so he live streams completely differently to my time. And I'm just like, oh, I missed it. Like I get wake up in the morning. He's already done a live stream because he's huh. actually more suited for the US. Um, huh. But um, I've caught a couple of the live streams and it's kind of like, and he's a loop artist and he's a very good guitarist. And I'm just kind of like, how do you do that? What, what, what setting did you use for that? Like I, I want, an, I want, it's like consultation. I want to right. grab him. I want to go tell me everything. <laughs> so right. but for, from a musician to a musician standpoint, um, I think musicians or performers or anyone who's doing anything like performing live, yeah. you have an extra element of that's cool. How do I do it? And like, that's cool. I want that broken down. So breaking stuff down is kind of like, like how do I do looping and stuff? It's cool to watch. But then also at the same time, I'm going, oh, I messed up there. And like my partner's gone, did you? I don't know. Like, so I, I, it sounded great. So yeah. I know, I, and it's exactly the same as if you're on stage. Oh, I messed up I'm on that chord, and I sung the first verse twice. Um, but that live element is there, and I, I agree with you. There's a, it's it's the equivalent of having a live thing on stage or a live thing with you know people in the room. Um, yep. But yeah, I think the the tipping. Sorry, I'm again diversing. The tipping thing. Um, it's it's still it's still a work in progress. It's not perfect. Yeah perfect in any platform uh twitch uh, probably is probably the best one for it um uh how does you now compare to twitch generally just overall um in my opinion i mean i don't use twitch at oh. all uh, Why in not? that sense um 
I'm starting to because okay. I'm using Restream and Restream can restream to Twitch. Um, but I'm not using it mainly because uh, there's a couple of things. It's almost it's it's, it's daunting to me. It's I'm going to be dead honest. I'm going. It's daunting it's quite, to you. Yeah, it's daunting really? to me because but yeah because they have um and tori will know this because now of what i feel we better yesterday because we we tried twitch our first <laughs> two streams we did twitch and how'd and you feel we were both like we we're i mean she, she obviously tori's totally fine with it because she just did a live stream to four thousand people yesterday or however many yeah. but like our gut the first couple times was like it's cool but it, it's more work than you now yeah way more work what yeah part of what makes you now brilliant for me there's a couple things. Just Number one, live. it's 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 just it's it's point and click. It's so it's it's painfully easy, and and the multiple video streams. I wasn't the one streaming. Yeah, but still, but yeah. you, you know you there, there's there's a level of complexity to Twitch mm. that probably gives it more production value ultimately, and you can do X and Y and Z with it, which is awesome. You probably can reach more people on average. You can do certain things with it, mm. but. Yeah. But you now to me is like it's so fucking cool because it's there's something um, there there's something unstoppable about how easy it is and how natural and, and, and sort of human it is the way it so, works. Some, someone said to me um, that that it's um it's almost like different um, with the different platforms. There's, there's different things obviously that happen with them. They all have their perks. Um, yeah. So, so if one of my friends said to me uh, you know and snapchat is like the wild west um so i kind of get that because it's one of those mm. things where i you, you someone you know could just be you know drinking cider and talking to people and just totally, like totally. walking around walking around their block um whereas like youtube is kind of like you have a purpose um to mm. to stream you're like you just you're not streaming just for streaming's sake um and it feels a lot more like snapchat in that respect um mm. of people documenting their lives um you know there's the hashtag of the is it the dream club you know that would be, or the the sleep club and people yeah are, are streaming themselves sleeping which i find like very big brother odd um that's just from my perspective but yeah yeah, the plug and play thing. Yeah, I get it. I mean, I'm not using OBS right now. You just brought me in. Mike turned. On, yeah, we're not either. On, like, and here we it's are. Crazy. So, but I could utilize a load of systems and put like thumbs up and words here and everything else. So you can. You could you use know, OBS with you now. Yeah, you could use XSplit. You could use OBS. They promote OBS now on their main page on you now. You know how, What's how to. What's the other connect. one you just said? X what? X X Split. X Split. Ooh. Um, Shit! Do you know about OBS? I was like, wait, 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 wait. What's that? What's XSplit? It's another yeah, OBS. It's, an, it's another. It's another. It's another stream. Um, so there's XSplit. There's OBS. There's OBS Labs. Uh, um, there's uh, a couple of others as well. But there's other ones um, that are completely web based. Um, so, f for example, things like Streamyard. So Streamyard um, is really really simple um that i helped someone uh, we normally have in my local town we have like a festival on like a one-day festival to help um i live on a peninsula so if you look at liverpool and then you look at Wales, there's a peninsula called the wirral that's where i live and um it's very very well tied in with the rni for the lifeboats and hmm. um we have a day where we raise money for the lifeboats and it's all music so there's loads of musicians in loads of different pubs and they do it because of the current situation that we're in um right. so um they did a virtual one and tom who organizes it um said how on earth am i going to do this and i said right well everyone's going to have to have their own system at home and then you can bring people in like a guest so they, they have like a stage on on um stream yards and then you bring that person in but you can have them side by side you can have them up and down and so and that's all so done what you're on saying is someone someone could be coming in from facebook and someone else can be coming in from you now and someone else can be coming in from twitch and there's some sort of no 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 no, oh, no. Okay. so they all go into the, you have to go into um stream yard so stream uh, yards so, stream yard so the host is stream yard and then you come into stream yard and then that that's been pushed out to the so network. when you promote it and you're like, here's the link. It's a StreamYard link. No, it's a you. You then promoting it on Facebook. You're using StreamYard. You're using StreamYard like you would use OBS. Got it. So it's on Facebook, but the sort of back end is StreamYard. Got it. If that makes sense. Um, yeah. So uh, if you guys have any other questions, it's really we got it. We got a nice little cross section of peeps. 
in here today. Um, ben, if you have any questions um, for JP Unknown, if you got any questions, Riz, you got any more um, for us? The one I have is something from um, still <laughs> processing still everything. Are yeah, dude, I everything? got I got like two pages of notes of just Sorry. like single just, words that we could write. I've got so much in my head. Dissertations. Um, I mean, I love it. I can do a live stream just on literally these any two of these things. things. These two things. These two things are like the number one thing. Well, so, that, so I have a, I have a feeling is that thing. is how to connect your mic to an iPhone. Yeah. So what? So this tell is, us this, about that. This is the Apple um, camera connection kit, which is USB three. Um, JP gets twenty so, percent from every sale. No, of that I don't. <laughs> no, no. Um, this is the camera connection kit, which is USB three. Um, so it's lightning at this end. It's lightning there. Oh, sorry, there. So that gives you power. So you plug your normal power cable in to keep it charged, and then that's USB. So my audio interface is USB. So you plug that into there. It's called the camera adapter because it's meant so you plug a camera in, and then the device goes, "Oh, look, photographs," and it moves it across. But musicians, if you look at iPad musicians or any musician, this is the number one thing that you need to either create music using an iPad or an iPhone or put your audio interface into that device. So that plus using Facebook Live or YouTube Live or you now, that's how you can plug in straight away. So if you've got uh, this, this you, you said to me. So it's called you, it's called a camera. Camera adapter. It's, it's actually, USB 3 camera okay. adapter. That's the official. Got or it. some people call it and the what's camera the, connection kit. Uh, what does it go for ish? 49. A buck 50. Oh, $49? Yeah. It's worth oh, every it a lot less than I thought. penny. So yep. for fifty bucks, you can get yep. essentially professional audio because now it's you different. you're you're also going to need something, either a a USB mic or probably better, yep. some sort of interface that's USB compatible yep. that allows you to put a mic into that interface. You yep. still need that second piece and a microphone. I have In a video. I have a video which is which mic should I use, and it's all about live streaming. So, like, I, I got a, a, a twenty, no, a sixteen pound. Uh, I don't know what that is in dollars. Sixteen pound lav mic from Boya, B O Y A, um, and it's phenomenal. And it's got a three point five mil jack on it, and you just use the three point five mil to lighten an adapter. You know that nine pound nine, a little adapter that you got in the box, but you don't get in the box anymore. Um, so you yep. plug your normal headphones in, plug yep. that in, done. That's it. So for under twenty, for under twenty pounds for music, actually for music, but, no for 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 improve it for for plugging in the mic. So it's a lav mic, but the thing so it has its disadvantages. Of course, it's going to be there um, and it's tiny. But if you want to up your game just with a little bit more mic, then that's cool. Um, yeah. The the hardest bit with um, streaming if is if you want to use backing tracks. That's the hardest bit because you need multiple ins. Um, so that's when you need an audio interface. So I'm using an audio gotcha. interface right now, like Focus. I use a Focusrite 2i2. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. Um, but I use it all the time. I think the preamp on it is fantastic. It sounds great. Um, and then I plug that into there. And then I use this, which is just off camera. Give me one second. Yeah. It I know. And I, I saw your request. Um, I just want to get one more question in with. Yeah, go. Um, so that's just, that's with, just a power uh, bank. That's a big power bank. It just literally, it's a it's a Rav Power. There you go, Rav Power power bank, which is USB power bank, and this is a little USB to multi cord thing. So I just plug that into the power, and then I can actually live stream with my audio interface on the beach. No cord. Wow. Needed. So how much is that? Uh, thirty forty pounds. Um. And then that was seven pounds on Amazon. So cute. Tori loves that. She's like, I want one. They're cool, aren't they? They do now do a new version, which is USB C. Um, but yeah, they've had this for a couple of years. Um, so this is a 26,000 milliamp battery. So if you think about that for a second, your phone is probably about 1800. Um, so, but if you're live streaming, of course, it's taken a lot of power. And also, yep. audio interfaces, you plug the audio interface into that without power. Your phone or your iPad or anything like that will turn around and say, this device is using too much power, and it won't power it. So you need something that's mm. got basically power, either 5 or 12 watts. So that will generate a lot more, and then you, you could stream for hours, and then it wouldn't even dent the iPhone because it'll just top it up and keep it at 100%. Unbelievable. Um, 
So I, I know you're, I know you had said before we started this, that you, uh, you were good for maybe 15 minutes past the, the hour, yeah, we're which 19 we minutes. are already past. <laughs> so I just wanted to, um, thank you again for you're welcome. your time right. and, um, um, unknown, I'm sorry, uh, we're sort of at the tail end of stuff, um, but we'll definitely try and get you on another time. Um, thank you guys for your questions. Um, uh, JP, do you want to, uh, you know, mention, I know you've got a single coming out with yes. your duo. So thank you, Tori, for plugging it. And it's on the chat there, but it's uh, for, that's my website, which is johnpaulmusic.co.uk. Um, all my social media is John Paul Music UK, And there you go. That's the YouTube where I mainly am. And there's loads of videos on there about how to do stuff. And that's the whole point of it, really, how to do stuff. Um, this microphone just got basically, the video for this just got released yesterday. This is the Aston Stealth, which is Ooh. the uh best microphone from nam 2020 uh which is just how phenomenal. much how much is it uh 379 retail for dollars um i can and i can't actually remember what it is or whatever it is uh, no no in dollars 379 oh in um, dollars yeah so i think cool. it's 299 299 pounds um so the link tori's just put up now which is distro kid um this is tokyo wasteland so if you like a little bit of 80s and I like a little bit of synth wave uh that's what me and my part my, my my musical partner uh who we are tokyo wasteland and it's me singing so if you want to hear my voice my my uk tones then go and go and pre-save it and it's out on the 26th dope and again um to sort of add to that little bit of advertisement i mean All the, plugs. the reason the reason that we the reason that we are so excited to have you on and that i knew this would be good is yeah. if you guys please go to jp's um, youtube channel and subscribe to it please oh, do that much. thank you it, it it will i i trust that it will continue to run and be a very good yep. sort of parallel source of information. He's got a really good video on monetization. He's got a good video on um, OBS. Um, he's got a good video. You've got a good video on um, the first initial live stream video was the one that blew up. That yep. one's obviously awesome. Yep. It's like you have a very so many good, questions um, in the comments on that one. I mean, I, to the point where I turned around and someone was like, how do I do this? How do I do this? It got to a point where one or two of them had said, have a look at this comment because I've already answered it. And it was, yeah. and it was great because that meant I needed to do another video. So it means that people are like, how'd you put that in? So um, yeah, I, I've now got a video of like how you can put your phone wirelessly and broadcast quality into OBS, things like that, which is NDI. So I've got a new video for that. Um, so yep. yeah, there's loads of how to's on there. Definitely. Yeah, and it will be a very good sort of uh, way for you guys to continue to learn and, and get um, tech knowledge. Um, thank you so much for, uh, is it like, was it about 10 o'clock there? No, no, it's uh, 7.20. So oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm going to go and have food. <laughs> Lovely. Get some, get some dinner. It was so wonderful having you on. Thank you guys for, uh, <laughs> for, uh, for your questions and for being here. And JP, thank you so much again for thank putting you. the knowledge out there and for just your good, your good mojo, man. Like, you know, you obviously have love for the music, you have love for the yeah. community and love for, for um, teaching people and helping people. Thank, so thank you very much for having me. And if you want to do this again, I will set it up. So I've got this whole setup plugged in. So then you Ooh. can, and then we can break it down how I do that. If you want to do that, Completely. I'm more than happy to help. It's just a matter of when um, we'd love to. And, and Tori and I will be definitely be in contact. Yeah, no that. worries. Cool. Much love. Thank you so much. Good luck on the single. Thanks. Cheers. We'll see how it goes. All right. We'll see you soon, JP. Take care. Thank you, you guys, so much. Um, what a day. What a day. Um, Tori, I'm bringing you back on. You down? I think you got to, you normally have like a business call by this time of the day. Are you busy? You have like other things going on in your life. Are you important? You have to go. Um, that was really fun. Wow. Thank you so much, JP. Cannot invite guest. That can't be. Um, unable to invite guest broadcaster. Why don't you raise your hand? Try it that way. Thank you, JP. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the love. That was awesome. That was amazing. Um, Tori, try raising your hand. Maybe I can do it like this. Yeah, man. There we go. 
Tori. <laughs> that was a whirlwind. How, how many pages of notes did you get? Oh my gosh. It was kind of like yesterday where I was like, I need to sit down and go through everything. So the good news for me in my notes was that I didn't, I mean, I have about a page and a half, but like every single thing I wrote down is like a whole live stream worth of like an idea, you know, like, and there were, I mean, man, I would love to have him on again. JP, if you're still on, don't talk about people in the third person. That's my mom in the background. You shouldn't do that if they're in the room. Um, Yeah, dude, we would love to have you back on. Um, That was so much fun. There were so many pieces that I was like, we could dive so much deeper into this. Yeah. So what, what would, what would you see as like, what, what was, what was popping in your head? The, the idea of having him like connect everything and show it. I love that. Cause it's a little okay. different and new seeing their whole setup. Um, yeah. Seeing his whole setup that we have. You mean the loop done. pedal and the whole thing? I didn't know you like loop pedals. Oh, you know, they're kind of cool. <laughs> loop. I mean, I don't know how to play a loop pedal, but I find myself definitely gravitated towards loop artists. Loop players. It <laughs> just blows my mind. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They keep track of. Let's do that. He's down. You're yeah. down. Let's do it. What else? Um, gosh, there's so much I need to like digest. <laughs> I really wanted to follow up on his thing where he was like, you know, we're all we're just getting into the golden era of live streaming. Yes. And I wanted to be like, okay, you said that a second ago, and then acted like there's nothing more to that. I want to know why you're saying that. Why you're saying we're not in the golden era yet, but we're about to enter into it. Um, that was really intriguing to me. And um, stuff on DistroKid was all new. Like, I don't know as much of kind of like the music release platforms and stuff. Yep. So that was very interesting. And when he said people aren't, like, people are listening to so much music right now. I was like, yeah, duh, makes sense. We have nothing else to do. But it hadn't really, that light bulb moment hadn't really come to me yet. Yep. It's like, of course people should be listening to music releasing new music because we have nothing else to do <laughs> right Which and also that there's these is, sort of yeah 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 like is that is that good does it make it too saturated kind of like right. like live streaming there's so much content you don't know where to go right like how the pros and cons i guess of, both of, of releasing something right now versus waiting a couple of months right sorry i had a call come in i missed what you said um, yeah, like whether you wh- whether it makes sense to release it right now versus maybe a couple months from now. I'm sure a lot of management teams are, are running that playbook in their head. They're like, what, should we do it now? Should we wait? You know, and, and I think he also I liked what he was talking about is sort of like, you know, the different stages of, of, a, of, of music and how to get it out to different places. And um, I think uh, what am I trying to say that like, there's so many different ways of basically releasing music digitally right now. And that depending on how you do that, that could also be a very big game changer. Like it, whether you do it this way or that way and sync this up and have this available and, and have this pointing this way and that way, I'm sure there's a whole science and art to doing that. And it's constantly changing from this month to next month to the month after these different things are evolving, different platforms are changing um Definitely. yeah for sure for sure so riz i hope i hope that wasn't overwhelming what i want from you selfishly is i want you to just have that track available online so we can talk about it i don't want you to get so overwhelmed by all the details and options of distro kid and all this other shit that you wait another two weeks to get the thing online if you give us a link of that that we can play somewhere on a website youtube whatever It'd be great to bring you on the next couple of weeks and talk music with you. Um, so just because you do it one way doesn't mean you can't later do it another way. Um, so hopefully that helps. It is uh, two minutes shy of 1130. I know you got to go and I got to go. Gotta so um, congratulations again. Thank you. Thank you. Showing us all how it's done. We'll have to do our other announcement on Friday. Cause we just had too much content. We couldn't get through it all. We just had too much. <laughs> and that's how we do it. We sort of, yeah. uh, Oh, there's some other stuff that we'll have to tell you on Friday. Yep, a little tease. <laughs> Got to go. Tano is, uh, Tano had to, go, it looks like Tano had to bolt, but he's going to be yeah. back on 
um, Friday for some music knowledge and information and musicness. So we'll see you guys then. Thank you for uh, being a part. Thank you, Unknown. Um, we'll definitely check out your check stuff out a moment, um, sure. ASAP. And uh, Riz, good to see you again. JP, thank you so much again for your time and your wisdom. Ben, good to see you again. Um, hope you guys are doing fantastic and staying well. And we'll see you Friday. Peace out. Bye. Bye.